Now the next sizing we are going to talk about is the edge sizing. Click on the vertex sizing setting and then in front of the geometry select an arbitrary edge. There is an interesting point here that should be mentioned. For example, when you select an edge and then click on the apply button in front of the geometry, you will see that the name of vertex sizing under the mesh section will change into edge sizing. This will happen if you, for example, select a surface and the name would change to surface sizing, or if you select the body, the name would be changed to body sizing. After selecting an edge for your geometry of interest, you can see that under the definition section, in front of the top, you have three options with the names of element size, number of division, and a sphere of influence. We talked about the sphere of influence option in the previous slides, therefore we are going to only talk about the other two options. As you all could probably guess, if you select the element size, you get to enter the size for each element. Also, you can see some partition over the selected edge that represents the size of each element that you've entered here. If you, for example, change this value, you can see that this partition would also change. For example, we entered the value of 0.1 meter for the elements that are placed over this edge. Also, before clicking on the generate button, uh, we suppress the patch confirming method so that a structured mesh is created over our geometry and that you can see the changes made in a better way. Now that we've uh, suppressed the patch confirming method and that we've entered the element size over the selected edge equal to 0.1 meter, you can see that the elements created here and over our box each have the value of 0.1 meter for their size. Also, we can simply change the sizing of the selected elements by simply changing the value again. If we, for example, enter a smaller value Comparing to the previous one, you can see that the mesh cells placed over the selected edge would become smaller in size. As you can see here, and as was mentioned, you can now see here that the mesh cells are obviously smaller than the previous mesh cells. Now the next option in front of the type is the number of divisions. Now when you select this option, you get to enter the number of mesh cells you want to put over an entity, in this case an edge. For example, if we enter the number of divisions equal to 10, you can see that the partitions over the selected edge will be divided in into 10 sections. Also under the advanced section, you will find two options with the name of behavior and bias type. About the behavior, if you click in front of it, you can select between two options of soft and hard. For example, if you select the soft option, you will kind of let the software to decide about the size of each element based on the general shape of your geometry or based on the other options and settings that you define. However, when you select the hard option, you will make the mesh cells placed over a selected entity, for example in this case an edge, as a reference for other settings and section, meaning that the software won't change the size of each element placed over this edge no matter what happens to other sections of your geometry or without considering the other options and settings you've applied. It should only be mentioned that normally hard option is selected in front of the behavior. About the BIOS type, as you all can probably remember, this option is normally used when you have a distribution of mesh cells over an edge, for example, with different cell sizes. If you click on it, you can see different formats and direction for your mesh cells. For example, if you select the first format where you have bigger cells on the left and smaller cells on the right, you can see that the same distribution would be applied over the selected edge. Also, when you select any format for the BIOS type, you can see a new section would appear with the name of BIOS factor. In this section, you have to enter the ratio between the length of the biggest mesh cell to the smallest one. For example, if we enter the value of 3, we mean that the length of the biggest mesh cell is 3 times bigger than the smallest one. As was mentioned before, you can now see here that the smaller mesh cells are placed on the right side of the selected edge, while the bigger mesh cells are placed on the left.
That being said, you can simply select other formats for the BIOS type and see how it affects the mesh distribution over the selected edge. The next option is the reverse bias. This option, as its name says, changes the direction and formation of mesh cells placed over an edge. This option is especially useful for the places where you have selected BIOS over multiple edges and that you want to change the direction of mesh cells only over one edge. For example, if you select the shown edge here, you would see that the direction of the BIOS put over this edge would be in an opposite direction. 